Hello and welcome to Crafty Beggars Make of the Month with Deco Patch Make of the Month for November. Yep. And we're going to be brightening up our baubles, aren't we, Jill? We are indeed. And we want to say a big thank you as well to the Vineyard Community Centre for our location, which is also the location of our new Crafty Beggars Christmas show going out later this month. Yeah. So look out for that. Absolutely. Jules, tell yep. us what we're using. Okay, well, the main thing, obviously, is to get some baubles. Now, these, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just a bit plain and mm. a bit boring, yeah. really. Um, so we are going to, as you say, brighten up our baubles. And for that, we've got some beautiful papers, lovely Christmas papers here. Really nice selection from Decapatch. And most important, really, of all, is we've got these jewels. Lovely, made, bit of bling. Which are, bit of bling, which are gorgeous. And um, these lovely little patch liners, which will give us um, an extra bit of sort of freehand decoration mm. we can do. And, of course, the good old Deco Patch Glossy Glue, right. which will act as a glue to attach the paper to the, um, the baubles and also as our varnish. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Out of all these papers that you see here before you... Yes. You know what's coming up, Jules. I do like that. Which paper do you think I'm going to choose? Which paper do you think you want? Well, yeah, it's a complete obvious. Da -da -da -da. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love peacock feathers. Which paper do you think I'm going to choose? Oh, in fact, I would have gone for that one for you. Yes, you're absolutely really? right. Really, we know each other so well. <laughs> let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Great. So now, which bauble am I going to go for? Silver one. No, I'm actually going to go for oh, the pink. Oh, I knew said the blooming pink. <laughs> actually, don't suppose it matters. I'm actually going to go for the green because I'm going to leave bits of the uh -huh. green showing through. Okay. So I'm not going to cut with scissors. I'm going to tear. Same here. And it's always a good idea um, when you're doing any deco patch project to actually just tear up a lot of pieces of paper at first. They de pieces, the size of your pieces depends on the article you're deco patching. But generally quite small. Yeah. Oh, and, got then, um, and then and then you're not sort of stopping all the time to tear more bits up. Right, we've got a bit of a situation going on. We've both managed to do our um, oh, deco on. patch. Yeah, I've, we've got I, this far. We've got this far, and now I'm using the same the jewels that you want. Mm. They're my jewels. Yes, <laughs> we'll see about this. I might use some different ones Good, now. Good, because I got there first. Yeah, only because I nipped to the loo. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have such a weak bladder. <laughs> oh God, dare you! <laughs> So what I'm doing is just putting a little bit of the glue, same glue, same glue along there and then just placing them. It really helps to use tweezers. You can just pop them on and as you can see, just in a random order like that. What I am doing is just putting a little gem in each one of the peacock feather eyes. On reflection, Wend, mm -hmm. I think I would have actually, rather than tearing the paper, I wanted an actual precise a hard line, edge. a yeah. hard edge. So mm. I, it would have been better to, for me to actually um, cut this, this particular paper. And when I do the next one, what I'm going to aim for is actually bringing the paper sort of even only halfway up because I like the combination of the mm. original bauble yes. and the paper. But the jewels are very good yes. for hiding yes, an, edge, uneven an uneven line. line. Yeah. When I first saw the Decapatch jewels, I thought, oh, what a shame they're not actually adhesive, because that would be easier. But because the glue, which also doubles as the varnish, is so kind of mm. nice and tacky, mm. it, is, it actually does work yes. that they're not adhesive. Are you going to try something with the patch liner? When, yes, I think just I just might off? while you're finishing off, because I could keep the bauble plain actually and use a bit of the it's actually this is um paint relief so it gives like the 3d uh -huh. effect you know <clears throat> i think some people think sometimes it's glue but it sort of isn't it's a paint right i don't know about you but i find with the 
with the patch liner and things like that, that it's easier to make a design out of blobs yes. than to do a line. Yes. And I've finished as well. And what I'm going to do while mine is drying is pop it in just a cup with a little bit of kitchen roll in and that goes there. So it'll, it'll dry without any fingers on it. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Happy so, Christmas. Happy Christmas and a happy, <laughs> happy Christmas to you too. Thanks for watching.